Greetings. Welcome to the Spectral Companion, an ongoing series here on Ghastly Tales where we delve into the haunting world of spirit folklore. Ghosts have been with us since the very beginning, shadowy figures from a realm unseen, apparitions which foretell our doom and inhuman entities which feast on the living. You'll find them all here in one form or another, and while we explore the chilling ghost folklore from around the world, ask yourself the question, are they really just stories? It is a common experience in Scotland. A visitor walks through the halls and passageways of an ancient castle, admiring the tapestries and medieval weapons which adorn the stony walls. History is almost palpable there. Death, disease, betrayal, brutal armed conflict. All these tragedies and more happened, and it does not take long for the imagination to conjure up images of such event. But now something catches the visitor's eye. A woman is walking towards them, her feet silent on the stone floor. At first the visitor is surprised by the almost ethereal green gown that she is wearing, a style hearkening back to centuries before. Surprise then turns to shock as the figure nears. It is not just the cloth that she wears which has a spectral green quality to it, but her very face and arms now outstretched are glowing with the same sinister hue. She is not of this world, and yet there she is. The visitor runs screaming from the castle and tells all about what was encountered there. Of course, no one believes them. That is, no one except the others who have seen the Green Lady for themselves. Several Scottish castles and country houses claim to have their own Green Lady, an apparition which is bound to one location. Each Green Lady legend differs somewhat from the other, and her purpose is often obscured. Is she benign, or is she a portent of doom? Some believe that the Green Lady is a similar entity to the Banshee, and her appearance is associated with an oncoming death which soon follows in the form of a family member suddenly passing away. Fivey Castle has an interesting Green Lady legend associated with it, as there is a rumoured cause for her appearance there. The castle itself can be found in the northeast region of Aberdeenshire in the Highlands of Scotland. The castle dates back as far as the early 13th century under the supervision of an early King of Scotland known as William the Lion. The castle would go on to host visits from other Scottish nobles, including Robert the Bruce and Charles I. The castle is home to many accounts, also charting the conflicts which scarred the entire British Isles for hundreds of years. But it is a history of a different kind which gave birth to the Green Lady of Fivey Castle. It is said that Fivey Castle suffers from the suffocating effect of a dark curse, one sown by a man named Thomas the Rhymer. He travelled the land making prophecies in the 13th century. It is said that after the castle had stood for seven years, Thomas the Rhymer visited it, his calm figure surrounded by a storm which brewed around him. It was then that he uttered what came to be known as the Weeping Stone's Curse, which I will now do my best to translate from its antiquated form. Fivey, fivey, you will never thrive. Long there is in these stones three. There's one in the highest tower. There's one in the lady's bower. There's one beneath the water gate. And the three stones you'll never get. It's said that Fivey Castle would be under this malevolent curse until all three weeping stones are found. The stones themselves were used in the construction of the castle and were reportedly taken from a sacred burial site. Until they are returned, no male heir will ever live to inherit the castle. 
Some claim two of the stones have already been found, but we know that at least one has, as it is on display in the castle itself. The stones weep when the air is dry. Could this curse be what causes the Green Lady to roam the halls of Fivey Castle? It is said that when one of the castle owners, a man named Alexander Seaton, married a woman called Lilius Drummond in the late 1500s, that the true horror of the Green Lady began. Though the castle was already cursed by this time, allegedly stopping any fivey child from being born there, Alexander Seaton blamed Lilius for not bearing him a child. Instead, he entered into an affair with Lilius' cousin, Grizel Leslie. Lilius was heartbroken and left the castle. It is said that she wasted away in grief and died soon after. Others have suggested that this wasting was the result of a very deliberate act of poisoning or starvation by Alexander Seaton himself. Just a few months after Lilius passed, Alexander married Grizel, but their wedding night was not to be an easy one. As they lay in their matrimonial bed, they were haunted by the screams and lamented cries of an unseen woman at their window. Alexander Seaton searched the castle with his servants, but no origin for the sounds could be found. As the sun rose the next day, those living in the castle were horrified to see the name of Seaton's dead wife, Lilius Drummond, carved into the stone outside the same bedroom window where the sounds had come from before. The letters were upside down and the window was 50 feet above ground, with no way for anyone to have climbed up there. The letters remain there to this day. Ever since that night, the castle has been the site of a spectral woman dressed in a green gown, roaming through the castle passageways, crying out that her husband has betrayed her. But this is not where the story of the Green Lady ends. You see, there is another apparition that haunts the halls of Fivey Castle, and it has been described as a dark, grey figure. Could this be the same entity? Some suggest it is Lilius, but others allege that it is the ghost of a Lady Meldrum, a much older apparition dating back to the very beginnings of the castle. Lady Meldrum died in the 13th century and, for some unknown reason, demanded that her body be walled up inside a secret room in the castle. This was long treated as a simple ghost story, but in 1920, while some restoration work was being carried out, workers discovered the sealed room. Inside were the skeletal remains of Lady Meldrum, kept in there for 700 years. The body was taken and then buried in a nearby cemetery. But Lady Meldrum seemed to disapprove of this. It is said that her terrifying apparition was seen regularly around the castle, haunting its residents and visitors after this. Some believe that the disturbance was so dangerous that her body was secretly placed back inside the castle to keep her from hurting others. Rumours persist that there are other rooms with grisly secrets of their own, and that should anyone enter Lady Meldrum's room, which is still kept a secret, that they will meet face to face with a blood-curdling entity hell-bent for revenge. Many believe to this day that a terrible malevolence walks the halls and corridors of Fivey Castle, with several owners and their family members dying after allegedly coming face to face with the Green Lady. Who is she? Is she Lilius Drummond, Lady Meldrum, or someone that history has all but forgotten? Or could the strange apparition that allegedly haunts those cold stone passageways and turrets be an amalgamation? A sinister expression of all that has befallen Fivey Castle, reaching out from history's dark past to grab us by the throat and remind us that our deeds will leave an indelible mark on the world. Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Spectral Companion. My name's Michael Whitehouse, and I'll return soon to lead you once more into the twisted, stygian nightmare of paranormal folklore. Sleep tight, 
lock the doors and pay no heed to the screams outside your window.